He is a kidney transplant survivor, a motivational speaker, and he's now also an author. Oh. The Privilege Race is a book about overcoming negative influences, and here with more on uh, who the book is for and why he wrote it is Brian Thomas. Brian, hey. welcome to the show. You wear a lot of hats. A lawyer, my goodness. I yeah. mean, you're an, you've got to be an advocate, a health advocate, too, for well, everything yeah, you've gone absolutely. through. For everything you've okay, gone so through. your first kidney transplant, you were very young. 13 years old. Happened in 1986. Jeez, I'm I just dated myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we're not right. here counting. <laughs> no, no. We, we're uh, yeah. bad at math. <laughs> Anyway, right, right. <laughs> yeah. No, my first kidney transplant was uh, night. I was 13 years old. I had another one when I was 32, and you know, life-saving technology. I wouldn't be here with you with you guys. Wouldn't have a family without it. Unbelievable. So you have a big history of overcoming obstacles. When you decided to write this book, what kind of went into that, and what made you decide, hey, I don't want to just be a lawyer. Now I'm going to become an author. Well, you know, I was sitting in my backyard back in May of 2020. So we were in during the yeah. pandemic, and George Floyd had just died. Mm -hmm. And I remember after like my anger started to dissipate about his death, I looked around and I looked at the life that I was living, mm -hmm. and I was very comfortable and very. You know, I just had everything that I needed. And what I decided to do was figure out how I got there, right? So I looked back over the last 40 years and looked at the decisions that my parents made, the decisions that I was able to make, and that put me in that chair on that day and puts me here with you guys today. So um, that's really what the book is about, is that trying to figure out what consequence you want and then mm. making the right decisions or making decisions to get you closer to that consequence. So is it almost like a, a self-help uh, guide? Is it a little bit of memoir? Is it a little bit? A little know? bit of both, a okay. lot of memoir because there's plenty of areas where I fell short and okay. I share most of them. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty vulnerable in that yeah. respect. But um, for example, like the kidney, being a kidney yeah. transplant patient at 13 years old, um, you know, my doctors, my mother especially, my parents, you know, they put me in bubble wrap because they wanted to protect yeah. me, they wanted to protect the kidney. Totally reasonable to do that. However, then when you're being told no and you can't do things over and over and over for decades, you start to live your life like you're fragile. And I noticed that I was making decisions because I thought that I was fragile. So that what the book says and what I suggest is like figuring out why people think that they're not enough. Mine was because of my fragility figuring out why people think that they're not enough, pushing that aside, and making decisions to get to the consequence you want. And the title, The Priv Privileged Race, what do you mean by that? Well, again, when I was sitting in my backyard, yeah. I really you know, felt that I had this abundant life surrounding me. And I kind of came out of the days of anger and I could hear children playing, birds mm -hmm. singing, squirrels running up trees. And you know, I, I really think that if you make decisions and then you reap the consequences from them, anyone can earn privilege. Who's the ideal reader, or when you were writing this, who's the person you pictured in your mind reading this that you thought they're gonna get the most out of this book? It's a great question. When I wrote it, I always passed on my, to, on my way to work this woman who works as, at security in a building on Clark Street. Mm -hmm. And I was, she was my avatar, I was writing for her. Oh. African American woman, probably about 40 years old, I'd see her every morning. But then when my agent read it and when the publisher read it, they're like, you know, this is really for African-American children between about 16 and 26 who are just getting started in life. And it's coming out soon. Correct. Tell it's, us where we can find it. You can find it right now on Amazon, okay. pre-order, but it comes out stores everywhere on March 12th. And how did you find all the time to write this? How long yeah. did it take you? Because you also run a law firm, too. I, I do. I do. <laughs> Um, I don't know that my wife would say that I managed it very well. <laughs> okay. So right. thank you to your wife yes. for all the work you, she did while you were. Yes. Thank you. Because yes. yes. she does the heavy lifting. Yeah, you may owe her a vacation. Oh, or, or, or two. Or, yeah. or two. But yeah, I mean, you just find the time to do it. That's right. awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you so you much for having me. For more on Brian and his book, check out theprivilegerace.com. And you can pre order the book, as you mentioned, on Amazon right now. It'll be available in several bookstores as well. Thanks for being. Right. Then. We got to support you, Thank Northbrook you. resident, right? Ah, there we go. All right.